Remy and Valentina's relationship, you feel like it's it's a volcano kind of waiting to erupt. Valentina, you know, she's in love with Remy, but he's unaware of how she feels about him. She tries to kind of, you know, suggest and put herself out there. I made you French toast. Anything else? You know, they may become a little more friends. They sometimes get to even hang out. What are you doing here? I told you I liked old movies. I decided I had to check Cagney out. Remy starts to realize that, that they have so much in common and that they have this bond. Say it for me. Top of the world, Ma! <laughs> <laughs> it's this girl who he's known almost his whole life, and you start to think, well, maybe I like this girl. Maybe I have feelings for her. But every day he sees her, he sees her mom. Zoila has been a second mom to him, so it's a delicate situation. I told you to stay away from him. I'd work. But when I'm outside of this house, I can hang out with whoever I want. He is your employer. You are his maid. Either way, he likes me. Zoila, based on her lifelong experience with Genevieve and working in that family, has some history with Genevieve's brother, Henri, and had her heart broken, uh, was completely disillusioned. Zoila thinks that history will repeat and, you know, the boy is gonna hurt me and break my heart. So she's against that and, you know, we have a big argument. They're all alike. Don't you get that? They think money gets them anything they want or anyone. Remy isn't like that. You're 19. You don't know. I know I love him. Zoila ultimately knows that everyone has to go through their own experience in order to find out whether or not that's true for themselves. I've been thinking. What about? Remy and Valentina. Maybe it would be good if he got out of their way. It's just this moment that she knows that not everyone is the same. Remy doesn't have to be like his uncle. And not only that, she needs to let me live my life. So. Yeah, Zoila definitely comes around. 